music is a way of life. When words don't explain how you feel, you can use a simple melody to express what you can't say. Music to me is just a way to express yourself. I think that music is so powerful. And what I want to do, do with, with music words. is to move people in such a way that singing is a way of expression their mind for me. and their body, it and it creates a certain atmosphere for them my feelings, where they my feel emotions, peaceful and happy. And and just what one it just makes like, everything all better, like a full expression. Music means a lot more to me. Music to me is an escape. Inside and when you can't escape relate to anything to else, the world you can always fall back on this music. The chaotic world is always a hustle and bustle. When with the melody and whether you can interpret your own feelings from music. You can we sing together and we talk together and we grow together, we fight together and we become a family. This is what living is about. My first reaction when we found out that we were going to Europe on choir tour, I was very, very, very excited. Traveling overseas is something I've wanted to do since I was like 10 and 11. When we first had our first like world history class where it was like all these beautiful cathedrals and big buildings. When I first heard about the Europe tour, I was really excited. I love traveling. I've been to Mexico twice, and that's one of my goals as an adult is to travel the world. Um, and so finding out about Europe, I, I like pretty much had my heart set on it when I first found out about it. I also got really excited because on my mom's side of the family, we are Czech, and so, um, it was really cool because I, I, now I get to go over to Czech Republic, so it's really exciting. I was a little scared. I, I was a little scared when I heard that, I, that we could be going to Europe. Dr. Norris uh, first mentioned it when I first auditioned, which I thought was kind of cool. I mean, just coming in and then auditioning and already he's talking about me going to Europe. I mean, just saying that right away kind of catches you off guard and... I mean, now I'm excited about it, but at that point I was really kind of freaked out, but. Well, we have 42 people going with us on this trip and I am completely overwhelmed. I feel like it is gonna be herding cats. The, the thing that I'm looking forward to the most about the trip is I wanna see that sparkle in that one student's eyes when they get something, when they realize that, that, that the world is different than uh, what they thought was true at home. And so I cannot wait to see that. I, I know it's just gonna be a, a, a glance that I'll get from a student who will have realized that something was totally not what they expected. That's sort of what gives me butterflies in my stomach and, and excites me is to know that they're gonna leave um, that experience, at least having one aha moment while they're there.
Sounds good. Right? At communion, we'll do the tantum ergo of Schubert. Schubert tantum ergo. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Orchestra. Okay. And her mass. Yes. Siedzenia. Okay. Uzon. Okay. Si. Okay. Kwan. Ile? Od ile krzeseł do siedzenia? Okay. Walking up to a castle right now. They said it was going to be about a 25 30 minute walk, and there's carriages you can take up and take down if you want, but you have to pay for that. And it's snowing. <laughs> Are we waiting for the clock to chime? <laughs> absolutely my favorite city so far. Um, I, from the first day, I absolutely fell in love with it. The, the spires and all the colors, the day that we did the walking tour, the sun was out and so the sun was hitting on the buildings and it's a very beautiful city and you go over um, the Charles Bridge and you look back on the old town and the castle and all these colors put together with the water and the sun. It was it was gorgeous. So I just got off the phone with our tour director in Michigan and she said, I'm really excited about your guys' concert in Prague. And I said, why? And she said, they're, they're um, billing it as a charity concert for the Prague um, Pediatric Cancer um, Fund. And they've already sold 300 tickets. <laughs> See it from there. This is where we stop. Tara, we wait here. Negative uh, 30 million? Uh, yeah. Trillion? Negative <laughs> trillion. Yeah. With the wind? Okay. With the windshield? With the windshield negative of 205? The church chill? Oh, right. right. Church windshield of negative zero million? Negative zero. <laughs> <laughs>
I never thought I would be in Europe, let alone be singing with some of my closest friends here. And the experience is overwhelming and it's amazing that we are all able to do this together. And it, I think it's one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life. And it's something I will always hold dear to my heart. Aubrey, this is this is mountains. It's just Kansas higher. <laughs> and Amanda on percussion. <laughs> it's funny because my sister plays percussion. I can't for the time of my life. Because I don't know. It was amazing and they loved us and singing in the whole group, like I just it was so like overwhelming and it's our last concert and I'm sad. That was oh, awesome. That was insane. And I, my heart is like I'm gonna have a heart attack. I'm gonna have heart that was like the best feeling ever. That this made this entire trip worth it. Like that's why we're here and that's why we do what we perfect do. Perfect ending, perfect it was, ending. It was amazing. It was amazing. <laughs>